I, I've got to ask you about how you see companies scaling their efforts because when you know we, we're here talking about fintech, but there are all different sizes of fintechs out there from small businesses and also that from a regional perspective. You know, how do you see this tran transforming and evolving? It's, it's daunting, obviously. So I see JP Morgan up there, good, good friends yeah. of ours. Uh, <laughs> you know, JP Morgan is very well protected. They have all the resources in the world. You know, they have thousands of people who work in cybersecurity. We worked for them for a decade, I think. And, and you know, pretty amazing what they can pull off. But they also have enormous resources versus a, a small bank or a small you know, fintech or what have you. It, it's certainly much harder. Uh, now, it's not always great just to be big. At the same time, if you're the big bank, you also have a very big network to deal with. And we like to say in our world that one of the things you need to do when you protect something is you, know, you need to know your network, you know, your systems better than the bad guys. And the bad guy just needs to know one bad thing about you and then he'll get you. So, so but long term, or long story short, is, you know, if you're a small company, it's not easy. And, and the bad guys, again, they sort of scam the whole world. They use the sort of internet scanning techniques to find that they don't really care if they go after party A or party B. They just want to find somebody who's weak. <clears throat> so, no, it's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. I'm, I'm thinking about this, you know, from having been in cyber for like 28 years. But I'm also thinking about the complexity that's out there. So it's, you know, whether you're small or whether you're large, it's still complex. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Han, have you got a, a view yeah, on and that? Yeah, and the implications of it is massive. You know, yeah. we, did a, we did a bit of a study around small businesses. And uh, it's, a, it's a very large percentage of small businesses will get attacked. And what the data has shown us is that one out of five will go out of business. Yeah. Now, if you think about the fact that the small business community is like 90% of our employment around the world, the backbone of many, many uh, economies, we have to get, you know, parties involved to, to make sure we can scale these solutions, educate, but also, whether it's telecommunications, you know, where they get their connectivity, we have to find these connection points and provide that security for them there to be turned on. But it's very clear, you know, I'm a baker or a hairdresser or, you know, pick the, pick the thing. Cyber, <laughs> I want to bury my head, it was like, what is it? I, you know, so we need to find the right place to get the technology to them to make sure the scales. And I think we've got a lot more work to do, but clearly a sense of urgency is required, Jane, to, to do this. Yeah, work. yeah, no, I, I completely agree with that. You can